I'm Rafael from Nepata and I love listening to you today FM. My name is Ken Gerdla and I'm from Australia but I'm part region from Rotraki and I love listening to today FM Rocks. For the best music and less talk, we tune in to Today FM in Nasilai Village. Today FM Rocks. My name is Inaya Ali and I'm from Ba and I love the big breakfast on Today FM. I just love it and hope you love it too. My name is Jay from La Pasa. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM Rocks. My name is Naushin and I'm from Sambeto and I love Today FM. Today FM Rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. I'm Amrita Priya Darshni and this is FBC News. Tonight, residents on edge following brutal attack on women at Holland Street in Suva. Lucky escape for bus driver as vehicle bursts into flames at Lothala Bay. And state set for FBC's New Year's Eve bash in Suva and Lotoka, a first for Fiji. People living along Holland Street in Suva are calling for more police presence following the alleged rape and assault of a 23-year-old student in broad daylight yesterday. It is alleged the woman was attacked by a man while walking along the road in front of the Lakshmi Narayan temple. Pranita Prakash has more. This is where the alleged incident occurred. Blood stains are still visible, evidence of the brutal attack suffered by the young woman yesterday. From information gathered so far, the woman was walking along this stretch of the road when she was allegedly attacked and raped. All this happened in broad daylight. Naimbuka Nangalalevu recalls seeing a man running away from scene and into a creek on the opposite side of the road at around midday yesterday. When I was walking behind the temple, I could hear dogs barking. When I stood up to check, I saw this man run across the fence to go down to the creek. He was wearing a green shirt and black three-quarter pants. When I was walking to the shop, I saw the same guy washing his face with the water from the creek, but I couldn't see his face. Nangalalevu wasn't aware at that time that a young woman had been brutally attacked just meters away. When I came back from the shop, the street was filled with a lot of people and the police. Four men came past and saw the girl, and that's where the case was reported. Temple caretaker Pandit Jendra Shastri is calling for more police patrols in the area as people are concerned about their safety. Every night, young men and women sleep at the tunnel and this happens every day, but no one is doing anything. There should be police patrols along this road. For the past two months, there have been cases of people's houses being broken into. The temple is stoned at night and last month, the temple was broken into twice. And this morning at around 8 a.m., a neighbor's house was broken into. These incidents are increasing every day and something needs to be done. Police are still looking for the suspect while the victim remains admitted at the CWM hospital. Pranita Prakash, FBC News. New Year's celebrations have turned sour for a family from Nandawa in Suva when two of their own died in a road accident in Namawalu this morning. Although details are sketchy, FBC News has been reliably informed that the two, a mother and son, were travelling to Nambawalu from Lambasa to board a boat back to Suva when the vehicle they were in crashed into a ditch. The incident happened at Bunivau Bua. Meanwhile, a 10-year-old girl died after she was allegedly thrown out of a moving vehicle yesterday afternoon. The incident occurred after 5 p.m. along the Nangoro Flats, Queens Road in Rakiraki. The vehicle was driven by a relative and initial information gathered so far is that she was thrown out of the vehicle as she had been sitting at the back of the vehicle, which is still subject to investigation. The suspect is being questioned at the Rakiraki police station. Now, police are investigating a bus fire that occurred this afternoon at Lodala Bay Road outside Suva. This video sent in by a witness shows the bus belonging to Nasese Buses Limited fully ablaze. Calls made to the bus company went unanswered. The driver of the bus refused to come on camera, but told FPC News there were no passengers on board when the bus caught fire. He escaped unharmed. The cause of the fire is not known yet as police and NFA officers investigate. 
Lifeline Fiji is broadening its partnership with the Ministry of Health and Medical Services to increase its outreach to rural communities. Director Archana Mani met with, he met with Health Minister Rosie Akbar to discuss plans and strategies. Mani says in every 36 hours, a person attempts to take his or her life. Therefore, it is critical that this is addressed with a united front. Lifeline Fiji has to date received a total of 5,023 calls through its toll-free crisis line. Villagers have shown overwhelming support for the new village bylaws. This was revealed by Itoke Affairs Permanent Secretary Naipote Katoni Tambua after five rounds of public consultations. Ali Kimbia has the details. Government officials have made presentation at various provincial council meetings and gone into villages promoting the village bylaws. Overall, uh, there's a big support uh, for these bylaws to be uh, implemented in the villages uh, to safeguard our, our cultures and tradition and also uh, protect uh, what we, our identity. The ministry is pleased the proposed bylaws are gaining attraction with the very people who will be affected. This new version of village bylaws are making a comeback after a lapse of 50 years. Katani Tumbua says it will preserve and protect Itoke culture and tradition. We are hoping that uh, during this uh, festive season in December and uh, January, uh, our our villages will uh, go through the, the village by law and then uh, we can further discuss during uh, the second rounds of submission. The final version of the bylaws is expected to be ready by July 2017. Ali FBC News. After the break on FBC News, New Year's resolutions, what's yours? And we find out what's happening at the FPC New Year's Eve bashes in Suva and Lotoka. Stay with us. Radio Fiji One, and don't wait in the Bonga and the Vienna. Radio Fiji One, and don't wait in the Bonga and the Vienna. Welcome back to FPC News. Now, year after year, as we count down to the final hours and look forward to a new year, resolutions are made. Some make extreme promises to themselves and stick it out, while for many others, it's a struggle to keep up. So what's your New Year's resolution? Now, FBC News reporter Anna Ravulo took to the streets today to find out what people are planning for 2017. A new year, a new resolution. What exactly is a New Year's resolution and how did it start? According to Wikipedia, New Year's resolution originated from the Babylonians who made promises to their gods at the start of each year that they would return borrowed objects and pay their debts. The Romans began each year by making promises to the god Janus for whom the month of January is named. He was believed to be the Roman god of beginnings and transitions. Over the years, the belief has spread to become a global tradition. Some I'm taking it seriously while others do it for fun. Here at home, New Year's resolutions vary. Some are hoping that the new year will bring success to their businesses. My New Year's resolution is to just grow up my business up. We're doing barbecue all around Fiji. So I'm wishing that uh, next year we can make good uh, profit in our barbecue system. Some are hoping to spend more time with their loved ones. My New Year's resolution is to spend more time with my family and friends and travel more, so see more places of the world. My New Year's resolution this year will be spend time with my family and plans to be like working hard and uh, um, be a good man. While for others, they are hoping to find that one true love in 2017. My New Year's resolution, uh, I just have to find a girl, you know, I mean my girlfriend. Because uh, every time when I reach home, there's no one to cook my food. So I have to find someone to cook my food because uh, 
when I come back to this tour, my food is ready for me. My new resolution is uh, be fruitful, get married and multiply. So with just a few hours to go, it's time to reflect and decide on what to share and what to build on as we greet another new year. Anna Ravulo, FBC News. For the first time in Fiji, people in the Western Central Division will be able to usher in the new year in style. In fact, people have already started pouring in to Suva's Albert Park and Lotoka's Carnival Park to be part of Fiji's Fiji Broadcasting Corporation's New Year's Eve Bash. FPC's New Year's Eve bash has always been a hit in the past, but those in the West have always missed out. Not this year, though, as organizers have planned two parties to run simultaneously in Suva and in Lotoka to welcome 2017. Anna Ravulo has more. The Fiji Broadcasting Corporation's New Year's Eve bash is always full of surprises and this year is no different. Suva has always been the home of FPC's New Year's Eve bash, but because of the recent disasters that have caused a lot of grief to many, organizers have planned one in Lotoka also with the hope of spreading joy in the last few hours of what's been a challenging year. And as expected, tonight's bashes will be one of a kind. Coordinator Gabriel Ringamoto says what they have on offer tonight has never been done before. Previous years we've been having street parties without uh, our viewers having the opportunity to uh, view their radio personalities up close. So this year we've uh, brought in the huge LED screens so that um, for our viewers and our, and our um, fans, those who want to come and have a fair view of uh, their favorite personalities on stage. And also at the same time they get the opportunity of um, um, watching what the Lotoka Street Party is also happening simultaneously. The FBC New Year's Eve bashes are expected to be jam-packed with the weatherman forecasting clear skies throughout the night. And if you're worried about security, assurances have been given by Police Chief of Operations ACP Rusia de Tundravu that their officers will be out in numbers to ensure public safety. He's also sent out a message to party goers tonight. As much as we would like to uh, to allow people eh, to come and enjoy themselves, they should also act responsibly. We cannot continue and um, load our police cells with the people um, because at the end of the day, um, we would like them to, to enjoy and then go back at their homes. But if they cross the line and if, they, if we see the number of people who cannot control themselves, and uh, have committed an offence and uh, uh, drunk, uh, incapable, uh, drunk and disorderly, definitely will uh, will get them in. So if you're at home and have nothing planned, the FPC New Year's Eve bashes are the place to be. Good news also for those who prefer to enjoy the bash in the comfort of their own homes, as FPC TV will bring you the live coverage from 10 tonight. Anna Ravulo, FPC News. And we now cross live to Lotoka's Carnival Park where Gold FM producer Dion Davu is on standby to tell us more. Dion, how is the party going? Thank you very much, Amrita and Mbulvinak, and welcome, Fiji. I'm D from Gold FM, your host on the ride, which you can tune in to every day from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. on only the Classic Hits. That's 100.2 FM. And, of course, we're here live from Carnival Park in Lautoka. You might be asking yourself, whereabouts is that? That's uh, actually beside the multi-purpose courts here near the, rather, here near the Lautoka City Council multi-purpose courts. And, of course, what we've got for you this evening is none other than the Mirchi FM and Bula FM New. New Year's Eve bash. It's a family affair and we've got a whole lot of entertainment lined up for you this evening. So we hope that you'll come on down and enjoy the fun with us. It's of course an alcohol free event and there's a lot of security provided this evening by members of the uh, Fiji Police uh, Force and of course members of the Public Security Service that we have hired for the event to ensure your safety. Entertainment this evening ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls is courtesy of uh, the Mangroovy Boys who listeners on Bula FM will no doubt be very familiar with and of course we've got entertainment from Sunday boy who's a local Hindi artist who will be singing for you all the latest Bollywood hits that you've heard on Mirchi FM and speaking of Mirchi FM we have the sensational duo from the Mirchi FM breakfast show that's Ashnil and Ashna as well as uh, Bula FM's Ben and Kali to entertain you throughout the night coming up at 12 a.m. as well you can also expect a fireworks display that's something very wonderful that you'd like to uh, yes bring the families down to come on down and check out a lot of entertainment a lot of fun to be had for you here at the very first 
Mirchi FM and Bull FM New Year's Eve batch. It's at Carnival Park in Lotoka here in the beautiful Sugar City. So come on down and enjoy with us tonight as we usher in a brand new 2017. And of course, for Gold FM and FBC, this is D. Thanks, Dion. Now from Lotoka, let's see what the atmosphere is like at Suva's Albert Park. Roland Koroy is there to tell us more. Roland, a few more hours to go before we greet 2017. Oh, we apologize. There seems to be a bit more excitement there with Roland Coroy losing his voice. But turning overseas and details are emerging of a record-breaking cocaine bust in Australia on Christmas Day. A more than two-year investigation has netted 15 men, including a former NRL player and a high-flying Sydney businessman. They're accused of trying to smuggle in more than a ton or $370 million worth of cocaine. Coming up in sports, Vodafone Fiji 7's manager, Ropate Kauvesi, to be replaced. And Fiji FA announces new national coach. These stories and more after the break. It's me, Simsta, here, right from the Rekidiki town. Our super breakfast show me my sunta hu jab breakfast show me rehta hai ashneel aur sangeeta ke saath kaise ke saath sunte sunte 11 se 2 bhavi ji ka show jitain shamil you know something regular ki mirchi fm is hot main hu shweta dukshan asari se log dekhte hain eid ka chand lekin mera chand to mirchi fm hai हमारा नाम जाबीर है हम कोर्निविया नसोरी में रहता है मिर्ची एफ हम सब टाइम सुनता है मिर्ची एफ बहुत जुलूम है मिर्ची एफ एम इज हॉट मिर्ची एफ एम इज हॉट Welcome to FPC Sports. Vodafone Fiji 7's Olympic gold medal winning manager Ropate Kovesi will be replaced soon by Fiji Rugby Union. Kovesi, who was part of the team for the last three years, will not be with the team for the rest of the Sevens World Series. The reason still remains unclear and several calls made by FBC Sports to the Fiji Rugby Union has not been answered. Kovesi has been one of the most successful managers of the national team in recent years. The Fiji Football Association has confirmed that former Paris Saint-Germain assistant coach Jamel is the new coach for the Fiji national football team. Association President Rajesh Patel says Jamel tops the list after the final interview. Jamel replaces Australian Frank Farina, whose services were ended after the Rio Olympics. He is a professional football coach and has a Union of European Football Association pro license. PSG is considered one of the top clubs in France and has won 31 titles, making it the most successful club in France. Jamel not only coached but also played. He was a member of the ASD Nuova Casino 1924, which is an Italian football club. He is expected to arrive in the country next Friday. The Uluinaka rugby team played a friendly match against the new net Yasawa at Bidesi Park this afternoon. The two teams used the match as part of their preparation in the Coral Coast Sevens in Singatoka earlier next year. Melita Vanga with this report. Yeah. Uluinakal Rugby President Epi Kolinivala says the friendly match helps them prepare for the upcoming Coral Coast Sevens. And, uh, we have some, uh, to identify some uh, talents that are hunted talents on the youth. Colini Valla says there has been a lot of hiccups in their training due to the weather and also the festive season. We are on the right track, most of the boys have given their time to sacrifice to be in this uh, festive season to keep up with the training project. New Net Rugby Manager Tom Bruce says the tournament is a good build up for them. Uh, it's, uh... Our skipper is away and a couple of senior players as well. Um, some have joined other uh, contracts uh, overseas, Singapore and Cook Islands, and um, you know, other senior players that have joined the police uh, team as well. So uh, it, has been, it has been good uh, in terms of preparation, yes. 
The Ulunical Rugby Sevens team is also keeping their fingers crossed that National Sevens rep Setereki Bituniata will be available for the selection. Melita Vanga, FBC Sports. Former Fiji Sevens coach Ben Ryan tweeted a photo of his new tattoo on his right arm with his favorite Fijian word, Velo Mani. In his tweet early yesterday, Ryan wrote, All Fijians out there may need to tell the rest of his followers what Velo Mani means as it was about to get engraved on him. He says he does not think he will be able to repay the people of Fiji for everything they did for him. Newly engaged world number two tennis player Serena Williams arrives in New Zealand as she prepares for next week's ASB Classic. The 22-time Grand Slam winner is using the tournament as preparation ahead of the Australian Open in Melbourne next month. The Memphis Grizzlies defeated Oklahoma City Thunder 114 points to 80 last night. The loss snapped Oklahoma City's four-game winning streak while Memphis ended a two-game skid. Weatherman was on spot and his predictions for fine weather today is certainly good news for those intending to be part of FPC's New Year's Eve bash in Lotoka and Suva this evening. Taking a look at temperatures in Nandi was the warmest today with 32 degrees while Lambasa and Suva were a cool 28 degrees. Now tomorrow you can expect good weather to prevail across the country. And looking ahead for the further outlook to Monday, more of the same at sea, fresh southeast winds 15 to 20 knots and moderate swells. Now, I believe we can now get back to Albert Park and hear what Roland has to say about the Suva, FPC Suva. Well, Amrita, as I was saying earlier, uh, the weather is very good here at Albert Park. The sun is setting, the skies are clear, the music is happening behind me. I know you can hear it. That's Chale Mariao and his band. Everyone is trickling in to welcome the new year 2017 at the Today FM 3112 street party. And here to tell us more about it is the man himself. I know he's no stranger to viewers on FBC TV and listeners of Today FM. He's the uh, Today FM programs director and also the Today FM breakfast show co-host. Alan, what can you tell us? What can we expect tonight? Well, tonight we have a couple of bands that are coming through. We've got um, Tali Mario, as you can hear in the background. They're uh, kicking off the party uh, early uh, this, this evening. And also we have uh, Rako coming up as well and Soundwave of the Pacific. Now, for those of you who have been coming to our um, uh, street parties and our, our park jams, you might have heard Soundwave of the Pacific. This is a whole family band. They are, um, uh, the, the, the daughter, she's like in class three or four and she can sing Adele like nobody's business. We also got Rako, who just released this week um, a, a whole album, and this is uh, Rotuman music. And you know how Rotumans are when they celebrate New Year, and they go all out. So this is the music that embodies all that. It's, it's like Farah songs. For those of you at home that know what Farah is, they got a new album out, and they're gonna be performing all those songs on our stage just behind us. Also tonight, we're trying to uh, create history, because tonight we want to do Fiji's biggest ever mannequin challenge. You've seen it on social media, everybody in Fiji has done it, but not to the scale that we're about to do it tonight. So we're going to use the crowd, we're going to use the bands, we're going to use everybody here to do our uh, uh, mannequin challenge tonight. Alan, I can see bouncy castles, I can see rides, uh, I can smell the food from all the food stalls. People are slowly coming in. Uh, I understand uh, Today FM always has gizmo giveaways. Uh, is, th is this year the same? We have a whole lot of giveaways as well to um, uh, to help with the entertainment. We also got giveaways for the crowd that have come up, have taken the time to come celebrate New Year with us. We've got um, uh, our sponsors who have given us stuff to give away on this stage. We also got our t-shirts, like the one I'm wearing. We're going to be giving that out as well. So there's a whole lot of giveaways that's going to be um, given out on our stage tonight. All right. Well, if you're sitting at home and contemplating whether or not to come on down, I tell you, this is the place to be. Albert Park. Today FM's 3112 Street Party. Yes, Alan's right. about to go bust the move up on stage. Can I join you? Yes, let's go. All right. So we'll see you later here tonight. Tonight. Thanks, Roland. I'm certainly dressed for the event and we'll be heading down after news. Now, recapping our main stories. Residents on edge following brutal attack on women at Holland Street in Suva yesterday. Lucky escape for bus driver as bus belonging to Nasese Buses Limited bursts into flames at Lothala Bay. And stage set for FPC's New Year's Eve bash in Suva and Lotoka, a first for Fiji. 
For these stories and others, you can tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. We move on to our poll question. We asked, do we need to control the number of cars on our roads? To answer, visit our FBC website. Do send us newsworthy pictures and videos on email, citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj. Or share it with us via our Facebook page. You can also follow and tweet us your tips at FBC News or simply hashtag FBC News. From the news team and I, a happy new year and stay safe.